Well, obviously there's more domestic implications than international, but uh, uh, anything like this in the largest democracy in the world has worldwide reverberation. So we'll have to watch this space with interest. But moving on to the Republican race, uh, there's plenty happening there as well. Yes, there was another debate this week, um, and it was another debate where uh, former uh, UN Ambassador Nikki Haley did pretty well. Uh, that doesn't mean she's going to necessarily get much support um, from Republican voters, but uh, she she did uh, shine. Um, and, uh, you know, President Trump, former President Trump was absent from the debate, which again worked to his advantage, I think, uh, showing uh, the uh, weak position that uh, uh, Republicans who oppose Trump are in. There just isn't a single candidate that they can unite behind. Um, and none of the, uh, the folks that were on the debate stage really shown enough to uh, get a lot of support that they didn't already have. Uh, so, you know, I think uh, we're in a very tough position um, if we want, you know, a genuine, uh, uh, a genuine race in 2024 that isn't all about Donald Trump. Well, that's it. By him saying nothing, more people are talking about him. And, and, and those types of debates uh, basically take headlines which could have been directed towards him because he's got more legal drama. Absolutely. Um, the uh, uh, sort of culture of lying that has characterized uh, President Trump, former President Trump, and then the Trump Organization, I think, was called out by a uh, judge in, in New York State uh, that um, showed pretty conclusively that President Trump either overvalued his properties when it was to his advantage to get a, a loan or undervalued his properties uh, when it was necessary to pay taxes uh, was a pattern. And that pattern could lead to President Trump losing his businesses in New York State, which is most of his his real estate empire. Um, that's not a very good position for somebody that's also facing uh, 91 uh, felony counts and, and needs a lot of money to pay for lawyers. Overseas, just uh, quickly to finish with, uh, I think that uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin thought that the war in Ukraine would last a matter of months. It's, it's dragging on for a long, long time and it doesn't seem to be finishing any time soon. But Ukraine, with the arms that they're getting from the rest of the world, are hitting back. They certainly are. Um, they've uh, used this this period of the summer, which is is their strong period, uh, to gain some small uh, advantages on the ground. Um, I think, though, we're going to go into another long winter of you know very very minor changes on both sides, with Ukraine facing the challenge of holding on to uh, the international support that have been so key uh, to its successes so far. Uh, it, it's a tough position uh, for for Ukraine, uh, but one that, uh, you know, uh, President Zelensky has, has proved admirably strong at uh, at handling. Yeah, absolutely. Professor Lewis de Scipio, always great to chat. Look forward to doing it again soon.